I'm a resident of Ballard. <clears throat> I'm a bit nervous, I realized, I was commenting to Everett. Uh, I've not been in this building since my divorce ten years ago, uh, and have been not been motivated to return until today. Uh, and I hope you'll take that into account. I want to impress on you, rather than some anecdotes, and you're going to hear plenty of that, uh, some course summary ideas. And fundamental to that is, while it was unquestionably not the intention of the 2009 audit on transit to degrade service to the public and have a negative impact on working conditions for operators, that has been the result. These folks in the audience, in and out of uniform, we consider ourselves professionals. My grandfather came to service at Seattle Transit in 1946, worked through uh, till 1989. I started late in life, he likes to joke. Uh, that at my age he had 20 years of seniority, at which point I say, shut up, Grandpa. <laughs> uh, at any rate, we consider well. ourselves professionals. We are expected to act like professionals. We hope to be treated <laughs> like professionals. And what I want to tell you is that the growing list of indignities that are being visited on us by these audit implementations do not rise to that standard. Like many professionals, I have a college degree, a lot of us drivers do, both uh, undergraduate and high-level graduate degrees. Mine is in sociology, a study that requires uh, one year of statistics, oh. and one of the first things you learn in looking at statistics is that while they tell the story, they do not tell the whole story. The rest of the story you're going to get from handouts, uh, like the uh, PR committee has been provided to you from listening to folks like this, uh, from listening to the public. Uh, while blaming a bus driver for a bus being late is kind of like blaming the weatherman when it rains, it happens. It happens every day. And when people are angry with us before they set foot on our bus, the experience is not positive for them, not positive for us. This whole thing seems to be predicated on the idea that bus drivers have too much time on their hands and nothing can be further from the truth. Even before the auto implementations, meal and rest breaks uh, were difficult to come by. Uh, if we applied cycle time analysis to your own staff, to the staff of any department in King County, or indeed any private businesses, how much downtime would we find? How many off-topic conversations in the hallway? How many personal phone calls? How many visits to the restroom? How many bits on humble figurines on eBay? And don't even get me started on smokers. Uh, I guarantee you that bus drivers stack up pretty well in terms of productivity time, and when we are behind the wheel, that time is very intense and stressful. It requires a lot of concentration and has immense responsibility. I want you to think about the audit recommendations as you hear from folks and as you consider these issues uh, in face of coming further service cuts and the possibility that the cure may be worse than the disease. Thank you.